Most European markets ended the day in negative territory, but higher than the depths of this morning. Stocks were lifted around lunchtime as rumours abound of a last-ditch deal between Greece and its creditors. France's CAC 40 dropped 79 points to end at 479. Britain's FTSE lost 1.5%, while the DAX in Germany fell one and a quarter. For more on how global markets reacted, we spoke to Angus Campbell, senior analyst at FX Pro. Global markets have been closely watching the Greek crisis. To discuss the latest developments, we're now joined by Angus Campbell, senior analyst at FX Pro. Angus, the U.S. stocks fell sharply on Monday. Today, European markets rebounded from their worst levels. What's been happening? Yes, and the markets are just taking things one step at a time. We have seen a great deal of risk aversion. Let's not underestimate just how worried investors are. There has been a sharp correction in stock indices around the globe. There's been a spike in borrowing costs for some of those peripheral nations in the Eurozone that may, uh, investors are a little worried, uh, may suffer from contagion if things in Greece worsen. And we just take each, as I say, each day one step at a time. The banks in Greece are closed this week. Will they open next week? And what happens if not? Polls have suggested that the majority of Greek uh, people do want to stay in the single currency. But at the same time, their uh, current prime minister who called for this election, he is campaigning for the people to vote no. And if that is uh, the result of the referendum on Sunday, then we could see a very serious financial turmoil within the markets. It could have serious uh, effect in terms of uh, risk aversion. And I think the banks will remain closed for some time with capital controls, uh, even more severe capital controls, it imposed. That was Angus Campbell, senior analyst at Tafex Pro. Thank you, Angus. Pleasure.